It's been another great year of growth for our group in sales, but more importantly, at the profit line. So what's driven that? Many things have driven our growth, but three in particular. Firstly, from working with the winners, our collaborative approach to customer and supplier relationships has driven excellent organic growth. Secondly, design and innovation. We've continued to create product that our customers and their consumers find stylish and to be great value. And by doing so, we've grown overall revenue and volume whilst growing sales in high margin categories such as gifting and creative play. Thirdly, efficiency and scale. Leveraging our strengths in manufacturing, in sourcing, and across all areas of the business has enabled us to sell over 650 million units of product whilst mitigating widely reported cost headwinds, managing overall costs, but still increasing operating margins by 1.4% and investing in the future. So how has the business performed by region this year? Sales and profits have increased in every region. In the USA, we focused on efficiency, product innovation, and business mix. And as a result, while sales grew by 5%, profits grew by 35%. In Europe, sales have grown by 10%, but profit by 29%, with our performance benefiting from manufacturing efficiency and the growth in sales of gift products. In the UK, we've seen the tangible benefit of having reorganized in FY17, to place our three businesses under one leadership team. In September, we began to make not for resale bags and are now producing for retailers such as JD Sports, Kirk Geiger, Superdry and Jules. Overall, sales by our UK business have increased by 5% and profit by 6%. And finally, in Australia, revenue has grown 10%. We've once again seen the benefits of our win of a major long-term contract with Australia's largest discounter. Our focus on specific channels and product categories resulted in profits growing by a tremendous 68%. Are we still able to invest in the business? Absolutely. We are highly cash generative and in FY18 invested at record levels, 9.4 million in fast payback capex projects. We also funded the acquisition of Biscay for £5.1 million and ended the year with an increased net cash balance of £4.4 million. Furthermore, our average leverage reduced from 2.3 times in FY17 to 1.5 times in FY18. This strong performance has enabled us to increase our full year dividend by 33% to six pence. Going forward, we have identified other investments for the current year and beyond that will further enhance our efficiency, capacity and capability. The group's focus on driving efficiencies has had a big impact on performance. For us, efficiency is about investment in manufacturing, in business processes and in leveraging best practice in all activities across the group. And this is an ongoing journey. This can be captured by the fact that despite overall material cost inflation, our investment in manufacturing efficiency economies of scale and product development across the group have resulted in gross margins increasing by 0.8 percentage points during the year and net margins growing from 5.6% to 7%. We anticipate further efficiency improvements from our recent investments, which include a new state-of-the-art paper bag manufacturing facility in Wales, a new printing press in the Netherlands, and new processes to further automate our card, bag and cracker production in China. Furthermore, with a new IT platform in the US coming on stream in the second half of 2018, this will enhance our ability to grow efficiently and with pace. How does the changing retail market impact design growth? The first thing to emphasize is that whilst we have a broad portfolio of strengths, our business enjoys a diverse revenue stream by region, by product category, by season and by channel. From the perspective of the challenges for certain retailers in the UK and in the high street in particular, I can only emphasize the fact that we've a strong track record of not only knowing which customers to partner with, but also which to invest in and which to avoid. 
We really are working with the winners, and this is illustrated by the fact that our top 10 customers in FY17 grew on average by 13% in FY18, whereas in another sector, discount grocery, the two truly global players in this sector almost doubled their business with us during the year. So whilst multi-territory relationships are a growing feature of the business, so too is the fact that we are increasingly enjoying a multi-category trading relationship with many long-standing customers. Many are consolidating their supplier base and we are benefiting from this. In addition, bespoke products for online e-tailers are also featuring strongly and our product categories, particularly celebrations and greetings products, lend themselves to growing popularity of more experiential types of shopping. So what else can investors expect in the period ahead? Well, our order book is in good shape with strong visibility for the year ahead and going into FY20. We anticipate continuing to grow organically with existing customers and product categories. We are growing our market share. We're also growing our customer base by channel and by region. In 2018, we enjoyed double digit growth in our stationary and creative play categories, and we see strong momentum continuing in the year ahead. We anticipate enjoying the planned synergies from our acquisition of Biscay Greetings in Australia in January of this year. FY19 will also see the first full year of revenues from our new UK-based paper bag manufacturing operation, and we're very encouraged for the level of committed orders for this new venture. At the same time, we'll continue to pursue M&A opportunities to deliver incremental growth whilst holding to our three key promises. Sustained double-digit growth in shareholders' earnings. Average leverage between one and a half times and two and a half times. And a progressive dividend policy and our commitment of moving over time, dividend cover towards at least two and a half times earnings per share. The business is in great shape and we look forward to the year ahead with confidence.